thank you for joining us for today's webinar where we will discuss the use of videos for your business. How does video marketing look like today? And how to actually make a trending video advert in less than an hour with movie. My name is Shana and I'll be your host for today. Welcome Marina, our digital content manager and also Aaron with whom we represent the customer success team at Movely. Hi everyone. Um, as I mentioned before, um, I'll be the host of the chat box. So if any questions during the webinar uh, come up, feel free to share in this chat box. We'll be happy to discuss any of your questions during the Q&A session um, after the webinar or we could address them uh, right during the um, webinar. So. Okay, thank you, Aaron. So um, for people that aren't that familiar with uh, Movely yet, we are offering an online video creation platform that enables anyone, and I mean anyone, to create stunning multimedia content like explainer videos, ads, or conference presentations. You get an access to over 170 million assets like images, videos and sounds to tell your story. Our editor is a simple to use interface that only needs a good internet connection and nothing else. Eventually you can download or publish your project to a social media platform or embed on your website. Now, without any further ado, we will turn the time over to Arena. Thank you, Shana. So I'm a digital content manager here at Movely, as, well, as it was mentioned before. So pretty much the generator of creative ideas and campaigns, visual production enthusiasts, and I will gladly introduce you to the major insights about the video ads of today. So stay tuned. Okay, so Arena, thank you. Um, video marketing is clearly a trending topic nowadays, but what's the main hype about it actually? Yes, uh, totally. Just think about it. Only in a couple of years, it would take you more than 5 million years to watch the amount of video that crosses global IP networks each month. Exactly, a month. It's quite crazy, but that's exactly how the world looks like today. So you either keep up or pretty much lose the game. And you know how it's now sad that social media is not just hip and cool, but soon to be the only game out there. If we look deeper, what's the actual driver of social? Yes, you know, the answer is definitely video. So let's look at the statistics that actually say that video will account for over 82% of all internet traffic by 2021. That's quite crazy, but that's true. Just to make it clear, Arena, what would you highlight as the main change in the media industry today? Um, what I would say that we moved from mass media towards current very much multi-platform micromedia world and it changed the entire media industry in general. I mean, look, most of us post, share and reshare pretty much every day. I mean, I do. I don't know about you, but I bet most of us do. Uh, we all are a media company now. No matter what we produce or sell, what's our business mm -hmm. or personal brand, and that I consider the biggest change, to be honest. Okay, but at the end of the day, what's the real benefit for modern businesses? Like, let's do a top three. Top three, all right. Um, most important to highlight is definitely Google. I mean, if you want to rank higher, video is totally the way to go. Because Google loves it. Since Google announced the acquisition of YouTube, it doesn't seem a coincidence for videos to get a larger favor over other types of content. By creating videos, by creating your, your own uh, corporate video content, you enter two largest search engines, so you can't go wrong here. You create this rich, very blended content that gets prioritized by Google's new algorithm. Yeah, I think we all get why Google loves video content. I mean, the estimated yearly revenue of YouTube will account for around 15 billion uh, United States dollars uh, this year only. And it's clearly uh, 15 billion reasons why Google would love video even more. Yeah, that's true. I mean, that's quite an amount, isn't it? But it's not only that. I mean, mainly video has an incredibly high level of engagement, which made people spend almost three times more on a page with video than without. And a little bit more about that, that video can actually drive a 157% increase in organic traffic. The more people stay on your page, 
the higher the quality of a website in the eyes of Google. I mean, that's, we understand it. The more organic traffic you're able to attract, and that's quite a lot. Yeah, okay, but so you get the extra traffic, but does it go any further than that? <laughs> yeah, totally. I mean, traffic is great, conversion is great, but we want to actually lead somewhere. And we know that videos are entertaining, engaging, but to be honest, I believe they're drastically underused to convert leads. Having video content on your landing page can increase your conversion rate by 80% and more, which is quite insane, but that works. It also leverages the ability of video content to grow your sales almost 50% faster. I mean, that's comparison between companies that use videos and those who don't. So if you're not using any, you got to reconsider your marketing strategy. Yeah. Thank you, Irina. Um, I guess we can all agree that video is a total must-have. So maybe just show us how those video, videos can be done then. Yeah, definitely, with pleasure. So first of all, let's take a look at what we are actually making today. It's a very short, trendy video ad. It's a bit motivational that strongly represents the brand. So let's take a look at it. Yes, it does look like Nike, doesn't it? Yeah. I bet Nike spends thousands on flying its filming crew from LA, maybe getting all that equipment, actors, and so on. With Movely, it doesn't take you longer than 30 minutes, or actually 20, which you'll see later on, and barely any budget. So I'm just thinking, why companies are investing so much into production when you can actually invest into later promotion, which means so much more. So let's get it started and let me move towards the editor. One second. So here we are. So this is your dashboard. That's where all the magic happens. You can see clearly a lot of content from my side. So let's start with a project. We need to remember that there are pretty much four simple st uh, steps to create a killer advert, as it was mentioned before, and that's exactly how Nike does. It's all about, first of all, write music, then a couple of video pieces, sleek order, and branding elements like text and logo. Exactly, that's pretty much simple as that. So here are our libraries. Let me just fix something. And what's the name let's put your movely ad very creative right um <laughs> so as i said before the main step the first one is music i normally like to use our story blocks which you can clearly see here this is the library that i'm using but to actually find the right music by genres by moods i visit the um story blocks page itself so here you can find a lot of music, um, musical content, sounds, and everything like that by genres. Like for instance, for this video, I was going for a more dramatic vibe, the one that is more motivational and actually gets you inspired and a little bit, a little bit more hyped up. So that's quite a nice place to be because you can, for instance, you need something shorter and all that. We need even something shorter than 30 seconds. And you can play through any kind of videos here and sounds and images and all of that is integrated in our platform as well. So we got you covered. Uh, the main sound that I've been using was called Rebel Snow. So let's see where it is here. So 15 second edition, isn't it? Let's try. <laughs> That's the one that we're using today. So all you gotta do is just copy the name, you go back to Moodly Studio, and you go to your libraries. So just a quick overview on the left, you can find the libraries that you would like to use. It's plenty. Whether you would like to create doodles, or for instance, some clean graphics, infographics, and so on, 
But right now we'll be moving towards story blocks. So when you do so, scroll further for a bigger screen. And here definitely we're gonna start with videos. So make sure to filter it by, oh, uh, by music, sorry, by sounds. So you just paste your name and you get. Stop loving that one. Uh, so yeah, <laughs> you can actually change the name of your clip here. Arena, can mm -hmm. I interrupt you? Sorry. Yeah, of course, of course. Can you maybe um, tell, um, give an overview of what we call in the editor, like the timeline, etc. So just yeah. that when you're using that, the users know what it is. Yeah, definitely. So I introduced already one part, the left part, which are the libraries. Here's the stage. So here is where you can actually visually see what's happening, what you're creating, you know, what's the processes. Uh, this is your timeline and further on you'll see that we build on like more and more content and every layer is pretty much your new file whether it's a video image a sound or anything like that so each line is your object uh, and clip you can for instance I really like to use clips because I can clearly see how organized um, my plat my project is and for instance right now uh, I'll be creating an extra one and as I said before the second and main step is video objects so I can clearly see that right now everything under it will be my videos and on the right side this is your stage and that's where you can also chat um, pretty much change if you have text color you know sound you can make sure that it's um, louder or not or for instance with pictures you know the opacity and all that which is quite important so let's get it started with video for a powerful effect I um, would like to find around 10 industry related videos here we you saw it that we are making an ad for a gym or a, spo or a sports center pretty much anything sports related so I'll use 10 keywords for 10 video pieces and it's pretty much all the same as I mentioned before just you need to write filter by video by videos so let's use the keywords that are going according to our topic so pulling a rope for instance we'll find very motivational kind of inspirational video and you can see it popping in your clip so clip video your layer is um, women pulling a rope so let's continue there are 10 to go, so try to make it faster. <laughs> so now actually, Rina, you're using like keywords um, that relate to yeah, sports and stuff like that. But um, I can imagine that, yeah, if you're not making promotion for a sports center, but maybe for a school or something, then you can just use keywords like study, student, college, teacher, right? Or Exactly. I mean, it's everything according to your industry. For instance, yes, if you're in education, you kind of just need to keep in mind um, what the concept that you are trying to communicate. You know, what's your main idea? What's the message behind it? And if you think about the storytelling that you use, that's how you find your keywords, correct? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I can imagine, but also, yeah, for like if you have a business or something that's more corporate style, then I can imagine you look for keywords as office work, manager, finance, business. Um, but maybe you can also use keywords that relate to a specific team or atmosphere, right? Yeah, for sure. I mean, if it gives you some sort of a vibe, you know, it doesn't exactly need to, if it's something work related, it doesn't mean you always need to show off your colleagues. I mean, I'm pretty sure they're great looking, but it needs to be, you know, just something in the theme, something in the vibe, and that will help you to create very powerful video and kind of communicate, um, your message much better. Mm -hmm. So yeah, we're pretty much coming to the end. There are just a couple of videos left. As you see, I'm pretty much doing the same strategy all over again. I'm just using the keywords to to find the videos. It's actually quite cool that we have Shutterstock and Storyblocks in there oh, because sure. yeah, it gives you so much more assets to use and they're all royalty free, so it's quite I mean, cool. the Storyblocks, yeah, definitely. But actually, I really like to use uh, Shutterstock for the premium content. It gives you 
and then there are millions and millions of different ones of different objects to choose from so you know it's worth paying sometimes mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. but right now as i mentioned before we're working with um story blocks all integrated here pretty much drag and drop Sounds so easy, just drag and drop. Exactly. <laughs> I mean, if you can do that one, right? <laughs> As our boss says, if you can't drag and drop, you have another problem, right? <laughs> <laughs> so, yes, two more videos uh, to go. <laughs> the powerful one from Inboxes. So, let's see, which one would I choose? So, yes, it does take some time to put them there, but I don't think it takes a lot. You just need to make sure to use the keywords. Yeah, I can see you're already taking all the assets there that you would like to use. Yeah. And then afterwards, you will start editing them, right? Yeah, correct, correct. The most important is to like them in, in one place. And the thing is, you know, everybody has different strategy to actually optimize your video creation. And I think that mine is step by step. If you do those steps, you, you know, that's how you get the best. Um, so I'm just make sure that you can see all the video files that I'm using. By the way, here, you can make sure to control it, zoom in or zoom out. So we'll see it a little bit further. Okay, so I think I was adding 10. Okay, perfect. So everything is done. This are your videos. So let's, um, how I normally do, I want to make sure that I actually order them correctly. So it's everything about the sleek order and very much well timing according to the music. So that's our third step. So remember, music, video, order. So I make sure to select the ones that I'm not going to be playing with at the moment, which you'll understand what I'm talking about. And I just put them to the right. So... I see this is my first video, that's what I want users to see. By the way, just for those who don't know or are not very much familiar, the video that is on the top, for instance, that, that's my play, um, playhead, right? The video that is on the top, the layer that is on the top, that's the one that you see uh, on the screen directly. So mm -hmm. if I'm going here, you see that besides the first video, there is nothing else, mm -hmm. right? Okay. So just uh, to go over the music again let's just listen to it one time and just really pay attention to where the beats are happening where do you see the change in the music and everything you know music is the oral uh, world language so i think that we can all hear pretty much you know one way and connect on this level so let's give it a shot <laughs> Okay, so going back, I will be stopping, I'll start from the beginning and I'll try to stop every time where I see some kind of beat change happening, right? So let's listen. It kind of slows down and it feels like you can actually put another video part there. So that's what we do. I think I will be running on this point at this point. Listen further. <laughs> Here, you just simply connect. All I'm doing is just grabbing the, um, you know, the object, the your layer, and I'm dragging it towards uh, the play hat. So that's the play hat. You're just dragging it to, uh, dragging it towards the point where you want it to be. So moving further. So somewhere there will be the next one. That's how I hear it. I mean, obviously, everybody will probably. Uh, be able to kind of listen the sounds very much differently, but that's the way that I kind of uh, hear it at the moment. Maybe you're gonna make it different, but you know, different is great. You know, more variety, the better. So moving further. Somewhere here, I would say. You see that those layers are again bothering me, like they're on the way. So I will select those and put them on the side. So, let's listen. Okay, nice. They've pedaled enough, I think. 
<laughs> <laughs> so let's uh, connect. So let's go further and listen again for the beat. Yeah, that's enough. Just a little bit, this kind of interesting sound there. So we can act it again, where we feel that one beat falls and another one starts, that's where we do it. No, it's this song right here. Connect another one. There are only two left, so just wait a second. Okay, again, you see how it goes a little bit down, like it changes? That's exactly where we put it. And the final one, a little bit more listening. And right now you'll see why I'm connecting it there. Right now it's gonna be like a powerful wow kind of moment. Perfect, that's where we change it. So I think at this point it should everything should be clear. Uh, by the way, if anybody has any questions, just please write in the chat. We'll make sure to address them um, when they rise. So if anything at this point is not well understood, we'll be happy to go over it again. And um, at the moment, we just need to make sure that we need to shorten the uh, layers. You know, you don't have sound afterwards, after your 16 second. So all you do is grab your layer and you drag it to the left. That's how you shorten it. That's pretty much how you do. And it connects your playhead, which is quite a smart thing. Because I, you know, I don't want to make a mistake here. And uh, also what I want to say is I said that the first layer is the one that is visible. So whatever's happening under it, people won't see it anyways. You can create you know, any kind of masterpieces over that football uh, field and nobody will see it. So you just pretty much better shorten it a little bit more and that will decrease your uh, file size, which will be easier to, you know, download afterwards. So let's see where we are. So I'm just, you know, it's not exactly, but nobody sees it anyways. That's the secret, you know, as long as it looks good outside. So right now, let's go over it and see how it actually goes according to the beat. Okay, perfect. However, obviously as a perfectionist, I want to make sure that, you know, we are building a very inspirational, very motivational um, advert. So I want more action there. For instance, also here in the beginning, I see that the man that is running, I can't even see him, to be honest. <laughs> so I would actually uh, would like to get rid of the part of the video, like just in the very beginning and start from the point where he's running, I can clearly see him. So you can do that by also tapping on the layer and dragging it to the right. So that's how you shorten from the start. I showed you how you can do it from the, uh, from the end of the video, now you can do it from the start. So for instance, can we see him now? Not really. And now, yes, he's clear. Oh, so, maybe so you're actually cutting a piece from the video at the beginning, right? Yes, exactly. Okay. So it's not only at the end, you know, it's easy. If you feel like, you know, for instance, I don't want to start by not seeing him exactly, that's what I do. I simply drag and get rid of the start. Okay. And I always keep the uh, playhead in the very beginning of where this video piece is starting. So I just don't forget, you know, I don't want to mm -hmm. look back and thinking, oh my God, like where this uh, layer actually started. Mm -hmm. So looking further, okay, this girl is doing squats, uh, squat jumps and she hasn't started yet in this video. And obviously, if we're trying to be like Nike, <laughs> you know, you gotta add some action. So let's see where, when she actually starts to do that. Does she? Yep, she does. So next one, okay, the weightlifter. Also, we don't see her actually weightlifting yet. So what are we gonna do? The same strategy. We see where she can actually start. Not yet, again. Okay, does she start? Nope, she's preparing kind of. Yeah, it's very, it's just think about it. You definitely want action. You don't want, you know, looking at people sleeping, standing and everything like this. <laughs> I mean, 
Depends on your business, of course. Maybe. Okay, she's preparing again. So, it's very important, even though maybe it looks like small steps, but that's what makes the difference, you know? Mm -hmm. Every little visual... Actually, I need to have, like, certain... Since it's almost done. Maybe cut her a little bit more. And then she... Standing, great. And then... Okay, so the weight is being screwed and I would actually wouldn't want to see the process and not just in stable picture. Um, a little bit more, a little bit more, boom, done. Yes, great. Okay, here. I would add a little bit more action for the woman that is boxing, you know, here she's kind of preparing. I would already do a hit. Whoop. Does she? Yes, right. And we'll cut this part a little bit more. Mm -hmm. So yes. So here we go. We made it perfect. We made it we made made sure that we have action everywhere. So where do we go from now? As I mentioned before, music, video, order. Next step is text and your logo. So we create um, a clip again, just to make sure that you actually know what's happening on the screen. Is that already the last step? Yeah, pretty much. I know it's, it's crazy. It really takes only four steps to create a powerful ad. And that's what people don't know nowadays. They feel that yeah. there's so much behind it, but it does look like there's so much behind it. But it takes you realistically pretty much 20 minutes. Uh, so yes, let's go to text and logo. And for the best effect and learn from Nike, you should implement around three motivational phrases or any kind of text pieces connected to your vision. So whatever your industry is, you know, whatever your mission vision is about, what do you actually represent as a brand and what you try to communicate, try to somehow put it in three uh, motivational phrases or any kind of other textual. Uh, textual pieces and that's what we're gonna do now so how to actually add text so you see I'm on this layer I'm moving towards text put it here so that's your text by double clicking it you can finally write there something so the first phrase that I've used build a spirit Okay, you can't see what's happening because we are gonna make it work now. Right now we mo move towards towards the right part and that's where you know textual kind of changes and magic happens as well. So here you can make it bold, you can also change the font. For instance, I really like to use this one. So double click again, change the color. You can also pretty much Use any color you would like if you have your logo or specific, you know, kind of color combinations. You can use that easily here. So we go back. We don't see much. That's why we need to make it a little bit bigger. That's how we stretch it. And to make sure, you know, it looks like a center, but is it actually? We don't know, but we can know. If you go to the grid right here, you click on it that's where you can control it. I mean, I'm using one-on-one -on -one grid to actually make things perfectly uh, central. So that's how it looks like at the moment. Perfect. Um, let's make it start from almost the beginning and let's listen to the music again and just see actually till what point, uh, till which point it needs to last. Great. So sometimes what I do when I'm not quite sure how long to uh, keep the uh, text there, I try to organize it together with the change of the video that is happening. You see, like, right now the girl will be doing the squats, so that's where one textual piece will be actually finishing. Mm -hmm. So that's where I am. And right now, second motivational part, you don't need to do many steps, you know, the least amount of uh, steps, the better. That's why you don't need to go to text, again, and tap it and change text. That's too many steps for what you can actually do in one, especially you would like to keep the same, um, you know, the same combination of font and color and everything. All you got to do is just copy and paste it. Here you are. 
the same object, you drag it to the place where it belongs, so right after the red playhead. So did here you, we are. Sorry, Rina, did you just copy and paste the, the second object by just using the keyboard? Or? Yeah, exactly. Okay. That's what I do. Just using your keyboard, copy paste copy, it, paste, yeah. and then drag mm -hmm. it. It's the easiest way to actually keep all the right font, you know, not to guess whether it looks the same. Mm -hmm. It actually is the same. Mm -hmm. So here you put the second text piece, which was chase a dream. Check it whether it's in the center. Now it is. And once again, let's listen a little bit further um, to how long do, does it need to actually last. Yeah, somewhere there I would see. Because we still need to leave some space to you know, uh, emphasize the uh, visuals a little bit more. So maybe I would make a um, little just empty space without any text on it. So how long would it actually be? Yeah, somewhere there. So once again, I'm copy pasting it. I'm dragging to where it needs to start. Changing the text, the final text, strive to win. Yeah, that's true. So let's follow that one. And let's see how long does it need to last as well. Great, with a beat, a little bit with a beat. And right now that's where the change will be happening. Remember when I said like, it's a powerful moment at the end. Uh, so that's where your logo will actually um, go in place. Let me just get rid of the um, grid so you see it more clear. And right now, boom. So somewhere here we can um, paste your logo. You, uh, how can you actually do it? You can upload media from your um, computer, easily done. So for instance, I was talking about the, um, some kind of sports center or gym, anything like that. So I've, that's where I get my um, uploaded media files. So I just pretty much take it and drag it. Once again, making sure it's in the center. Great, looks awesome. So right now we make sure that it doesn't last too long because Yep. And one of the nice elements here that it's it's all great that it goes smooth, but we need more emphasis. We need a little bit more, you know, emotion there and kind of like a clear highlight of your brand. So how can we do that by adding an anim animation? So when you go further here, click add animation. And I really like to do it by using enter uh, animations like scale in. So that's how it's gonna look like. Boom. Very much like a clear emphasis. And then we see that it kind of goes to the sky. So we want it to be like very smoothly disappearing from the stage. And that's why we use exit animations like fade out. So. And boom. And to fade out even better, you need to use it also for the video file. So that was your last video file, remember the stadium? So we're gonna add fade out for it as well. So now it goes as smooth as never before. So yeah, funnily enough, that's it. That's how you do it and I'll show you the results. Just in a second, we're gonna save it. Oh my God, it's so fast, that's quite crazy, but it's... <laughs> It's true. <laughs> yeah, yeah. And you get a professional, you know, professional effort like this, and it doesn't take much effort at all. So let's take a look at what we actually have. looks like something very professional something that takes longer than 20 minutes but it really isn't so here's our masterpiece done in around 20 minutes so you clearly have no excuses not to invest in video marketing so really inspire you to go ahead and try and making a video ad for your business with Movely. just check it out and try it yourself follow my steps and believe me it's gonna be as easy as never before yeah. so yeah good luck <laughs>
Yeah, so what I'm taking away with this is that, yeah, you start by make, choosing your music, you add your video content, and then you um, suit it up with tech, uh, you do the order, and then yeah. just text and logo, and that's it. it. I really feel inspired, Arena. It's like, I can do this <laughs> as well. <laughs> yes, you can. That's the thing that yeah, you sure. actually can. Well, thank you, Arena. Um, we will now go ahead and take some time for questions. Uh, just a reminder, please be sure to type your questions uh, into the chat box. Um, but so far, I can't see many questions yet. So yeah, don't be shy. <laughs> don't be shy. We don't buy. It's exactly any questions that people would like to ask. Things you have seen within or the maybe editor. any thoughts. You know, if something that you would like to share, or maybe you would do a little bit differently, just share it. We all are here to learn. Correct. Was was everything clear uh, in the editor for everyone? Ah, thank yes. you, Ilona. <laughs> thank you, thank you. But if any more questions, you know, we're gladly go over it again. So yeah, just shoot. Okay, so uh -huh. how do you add your own video? Um, maybe it's best that we just show this in the editor. Uh, what do you mean by that? Uh, how do you, you upload your own you media to the uh, personal uh, library? That's that's correct, right? That's what we're yes. yes. Okay. So how do we actually upload it? So let's go to Moodly Studio again. So for instance, that's where it is. That's, if I understand correctly, that's what you're talking about. It's exactly the button that will be in charge of, uh, you know, um, putting any kind of content, your sounds file, your, for instance, uh, for instance, branded logos, corporate files and all the rest. So that's where you click it and it gets you directly to your, uh, to your computer. So great, question is answered. <laughs> Anything else? Or maybe for now we can, before people uh, decide on what exactly they would like to know more, because I understand mm -hmm. it kind of takes time, maybe we can actually well, if, share something? If maybe somebody else uh, still has a question, just drop it there. Um, but while we're just waiting for um, any other questions, then maybe we can just share some other uh, news with you. Like um, Arena, Aaron, I don't know, do you have like a top two of what's been happening yeah, within totally. the past two months? Yeah, for me, for sure. Um, it was a big hit for me because I totally love making those. And now you can actually make video presentation within Moodly. Hooray, hooray. <laughs> I'm very happy because, you know, we're all done by this death by PowerPoint, correct? Mm -hmm. It's just simply boring to watch those very unattractive, too simple, not engaging presentations, and that can be now officially stopped by using video presentations that you can create in Moodly. So what do you do? You enhance it by animation, by extra sounds, and all that to actually make it more powerful and to make sure that your message is delivered in the most, you know, in the most, um, I don't know, effective way. Mm -hmm. So yeah, for me, that's... Top one, at least, you know. <laughs> yeah, sure. Thank Aaron, you. do you have something yeah, else to share? For my part, uh, linked to the presentation mode, we, all, we also have the uh, PowerPoint import uh, function yeah. or feature, uh, as we call it. Um, so basically, you can import uh, the PowerPoint file uh, in Movely. Um, but bear in mind that this uh, feature is still in beta version. So... Um, Development is still working on perfecting uh, yeah. this feature, but that's something we'll... It's, it's quite big and yeah. I feel like it has definitely potential, but that's all up to, you know, up to us to improve it to the fullest. That's why mm -hmm. if you have any kind of feedback, if you want to just come and play around with it and see where you would actually see it being um, evolved more, we welcome any kind of feedback because that's exactly how we grow. We just make sure that, you know, you, our users, get the, the most usability possible and the most easy to use platform and something that clearly intuitive. So if yeah. you have any feedback or on our features, this just please shoot because the more feedback, the better. Okay, so, so um, yeah, I guess if there are no other questions at this point or um, if everything was clear for everybody at this point, that's even better. Then, um, yeah, I don't know if there is anything else, Aaron, Arena, you would like to no, if, cover? If people have any questions in the near future um, while they are trying out um, to make a video themselves, they can just um, 
hit us via email or yeah. via the chat box on the website. We'll be happy to uh, to to answer these questions as quick as we can. Um, also, um, if you're trying to make a video and you don't understand quite what you're doing, there's tons of documentation on the FAQ page on the no, website. Yes, exactly, exactly. And everything is also in visual format. For instance, yeah. if you check out our social media, we, from time to time, I will literally put effort into actually bringing more you know, tips and tricks into how to, you can create something for your business, for your personal brand or anything like that. Mm -hmm. So just check it out as well. Any yeah. question, you know, whether it's help, FAQs, our support team, our great support team, or social media, just please, be welcome to be, uh, to visit it. Okay. So yeah, do we well, have something else? Great, thank you guys. I was very happy to do this uh, with Aaron and Irina. Also very much appreci appreciated that, um, that you're there um, attending this webinar. <laughs> See you next time, guys. Thank you very much, guys. Thank you bye -bye. and goodbye. Bye. Bye-bye.